Hey everybody, it's Rob from Lackey's Be Trippin' and today I'm here with our 2014 Thor Outlaw. This of course is the rig that my family and I have full-timed in for the last four years. We've been to all 48 states, you can see that on the map here, and uh, we've been coast to coast multiple times, up mountains, down in valleys, in the desert, in the redwood forest, Oceanside, in the Atlantic, the Pacific, the Florida Keys, the Great Lakes, you name it, this rig's been there and it's done so very reliably for us. Now what I'm gonna do today is give you a tour of this rig, but I'm also going to show you the good, the bad, and the ugly of this RV in particular. Because if you're watching this video and you're in the market for an RV, there's a chance that Rumble is right for you and your family. So without further ado, let's get started on the outside. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna be completely transparent with you in this video. Anyway, you're gonna love it, stay tuned. So starting up front, what you're gonna see is a very cool paint job. Um, you're gonna see that motif, of course, across the whole RV. This is one of my favorite colors and paint jobs on any RV, and I'm not even a fan of red. I just think all these colors work really, really well together. Now, in the lighting situation up front here, you're going to find some aftermarket headlights and fog lights. These are um, LED strips here. You have uh, the clear bulbs in here, the clear markers, which look really good. And it's just a nice, clean, modern look. A lot of people think this is a brand new RV just because uh, these facelifted lights helped make it look a lot cleaner. So at night, it looks really, really nice. Uh, and then even during the day, these LEDs are lit up. Now down here in the fog lights, we've got some aftermarket um, LED units, and these are not DOT compliant, meaning when you turn these on, they are brighter than brights. They are going to illuminate everything in front of you very, very brightly, and you're not gonna wanna turn them on with oncoming traffic. If you're out in the middle of nowhere on the highway, we do a lot of night driving, uh, those are excellent. So the lighting situation on this coach is very, very good. As you can see, the little European plate down there for rumble, uh, you can leave that if you want or you're, we'll take it off, it's up to you. Now on the, uh, on the front here, I do wanna point out there is a large rock chip right in the driver's field of vision. That happened about mm, two or three years ago. We got it filled, it's not cracking, it's not going anywhere, but it is a pretty large chip right in the driver's field of vision. I'll try to show that when we get inside. The only problems I've had up front here are the windshield wipers, and that's very common on the Outlaws and other Thor vehicles. Um, what happens is the wipers get stuck up and uh, stuck in the toggled up position. We actually welded a reinforcement plate on the wiper arm bracket in there and uh, reinforced it with some more hardware. It's been pretty good, but I will tell you, I usually run it without the passenger side arm on it. Um, just the one blade being on here, the one arm, really reduces the amount of weight and stress, uh, that the, the wind resistance that's on it when you're on the highway, and it helps that linkage work a lot better. So most of the time, I ran it without the passenger side arm on it, as do many other Thor owners. Just something to think about. Okay, now I wanna work my way around here to the driver's side. And I just wanna show you that, um, you know, the paint is great. Everything looks good on this side of the RV, uh, all around the RV, really. There are some small scratches up here on the top. And that's because this is such a tall vehicle. It catches tree branches, it does get scratched. I've polished it a couple times, I keep it waxed, but there are scratches up there, something to be advised of. They're pretty surface level. I don't think any of them are through the clear coat or anything like that. Down here on this front fender, there are some small scratches as well. This actually happened when we took the fender off and we reinforced the wall. Now a common issue on these Thor Outlaws, which we have experienced, is that the screws inside this trim panel that hold this wall to the floor of the RV shear and the wall actually falls down. Now, in this case, we fixed it once, the screws broke again. At that point, we put in more screws, heavier screws, and we put a piece of um, angle iron, uh, or metal, it wasn't iron, it's aluminum actually, put a piece of angle aluminum under here, drilled it into the frame and up into the wall. So you really have that reinforced. It's a common issue on the Outlaws, and uh, you can rest assured that it's not going to be an issue going forward. So moving a little bit further down the coach here, you're going to see we have been to all 48 states. We had some stickers fly off, so we had to color it in, but all 48 states here on Rumble. Now let's look at the storage, all lockable totes. And um, you can see these are pretty deep. They're clean. Uh, we do have some slide out lube, rubber seal conditioner. I keep those, uh, you know, keep the slides lubed and conditioned. I have a new power inlet, which I'll show you I managed to break the other day, so I ordered a new one, I'll have that put on. 
but the storage in this coach is really really good especially for a gas unit the second tote obviously still has some of our personal things in it this is your fresh water tank it's locked right now so i won't open that one but this is the cool bay it's a pass through we have here some uh wheel and tire covers if you want those i've got some spare roof molding touch up paint for the interior i'll show you that in a bit and just some random uh, stuff here for housekeeping, caulk, and that sort of thing. But this is a pass-through, which means it goes all the way to the other side of the coach. Here you have the slide controller, one of them here for the rear slide, which is above me. We have LED marker lights on the side we added. Now the tires are Toyo M154s. These are really good tires. We really like them. Uh, I'll tell you the tires on the back, the uh, the drive tires are about five years old. We put those on when we bought the unit. The steer tires on the front are under one year old. So um, just something to, uh, to note there. Now you'll notice there's a couple speakers on the outside. There's also some outlets here. And under this cover, you have a TV, which we have a Roku hooked to. Now this is great. You put the power awning out here and um, you have the TV on, the speakers going, and you can really entertain uh, a nice group of people out here. We do that quite a bit. We really enjoy it. So the outdoor television is something we are going to miss on our new rig. Here you'll see the small den slide. Inside this is the middle den. So this is the MD, the 37 MD model. The MD stands for middle den. And I'll show you that when we get inside. Slide toppers in great condition. It's nice and taut rolls up properly and uh, keeps the debris off the top. The cool thing about the Outlaw is you have a second awning here. So the big power awning on the front, smaller power awning in the back, and of course the entry door for the garage. So the garage starts right about here, all the way back. This window above is the loft area. That's where Tosh and I sleep. And the window below that is a, gar a garage window, of course. Some totes back here, which I use for utility. So you can see I've got some chemicals and uh, buffer and stuff in here. And then the smaller tote here is um, where I would keep the brake buddy and some roadside, you know, road hazard equipment, that sort of thing. You have a vent here for the garage area and also another on the other side. So in back, nice big door. Now this folds out, of course this is a toy hauler, this folds out into a ramp, but it also becomes a deck, and I will show you that later. You've got a splash guard on the back, or a rock guard. Um, 40, you know, 50, 60,000 miles of towing the Ranger behind the Outlaw. We didn't have any rock chips to speak of on the Ranger, and that's partly because of this. You can see it's ground down on one corner because it did come unhooked. This was like this when we bought it. It dragged on the ground, I guess, but uh, it's just a cosmetic thing. Here you have a vent for the garage unit, air conditioning unit. Um, there's the other vent up high. What I do is I pop this one forward, I pop the other one outward, and it gets a nice cross flow through the garage should you have motorcycles or something back there. Try to keep the fumes out. And inside this door, something very cool for a toy hauler, it's locked right now, but there is an auxiliary fuel pump in there just like at the gas station. So you can pull your motorcycle or your side-by-side, -side, your golf cart up here, and you can fill it with 87 octane right out of the RV gas tank. Some good storage back here. We keep a wagon, hoses, uh, Lucas, that sort of stuff in here. Uh, and then you have your power bay, of course. We have a 50 amp cord in there. There's the outlet that I broke the other day. Do not drive uh, while plugged in. You know, don't try to take off while it pl it's plugged in. That'll break. Um, we have a transfer switch, which was new in the last year. Um, also, the wiring and the fuel line have been completely replaced from the transfer switch to the generator um, and the gas pump to the generator. All new fuel line, all new wiring. Here's your other pass-through bay. This is your <clears throat> wet bay, of course. Um, dump station, fresh water valves, outdoor shower, which is nice. There's a light switch here for a outdoor light, which is nice when you're working outside dumping the tanks. Now, continuing up the passenger side, you're gonna see the big slide here for the living area in the front. Again, slide toppers in nice shape. Um, 
the rubber I keep conditioned. We keep the tracks lubricated, everything in nice shape there. Inside the battery bay here, you can find, a, oh, sorry, this is the generator. <laughs> Onan QG5500. It's been well maintained. It does have 2600 hours on it. And uh, you can see I have a piece of, uh, uh, of, of um, what do you call it, insulation here over the fuel line. Now these are pretty prone to overheating when the temperature is above, uh, whoops, let's say 95 degrees. Uh, this one does not do that anymore because I made some upgrades. Not only do I have that sleeve on the fuel line, there's also a secondary fuel pump in line here. I don't know if we can see it it's up on the frame but um yeah it's it's also got a pusher pump that i installed while i'm under here though i do want to show you this uh kill mat oh there's the fuel pump there <laughs> so secondary fuel pump and then um in here we've got kill mat all the way back above the rear end as well and that makes things a lot quieter inside the rig i oh, just hit my head that was nice but uh anyway keep things quiet inside the kids raved about it they said it was so much nicer once we got that mat installed in there at sound deadener also keeps the temperature down on the floor so inside here i uh, have a bottle of atf fluid because that is what is used in the hydraulic system for the jacks we put a new hydraulic line on the other day i'll show you that in the front we also have two lithium ion they're x2 power lithium ion batteries and um, a, a big upgrade from what was in there. These are 220 amp hour batteries, so 220 amp hour each. Finally, up front here, we have a nice storage tote, which I use for water hoses, got some solar powers in there, wash equipment, and then a big, I think this is a 30 gallon propane tank, which <laughs> lasts forever. All right, so again, new steer tires, as of about a year ago. One thing I do want to show you on the front windows here, especially on the driver's side, you get some ghosting in between the dual panes. Uh, pretty common on RVs. You can have that repaired, but I just haven't messed with it. It doesn't bother me. So just want to give you a heads up there. Now, before I take you up on the roof and show you the brand new roof membrane on this rig, I just wanted to show you what the back looks like when it's all put down and you've got this nice patio section. Again, you've got lights up here, speakers, um, all kinds of cool stuff. We've got a couple of high top chairs, director's chairs that we'll include with the rig. They're very nice to sit out on the balcony, and overlook your uh, surroundings. And you see the mount here in the floor that we've added. So you can take that table from up front, put the little pedestal table back here, put your drinks and your food on it. We've enjoyed some really nice nights out here, uh, drinking and eating on the balcony. Now I want to take you up on the roof. Okay, so like I said, this is a new roof membrane. And the reason it's new is uh, we had a tree fall and put a dent in a radius here on the side of the roof. Um, it was in a storm and it, it had a little dent, but we figured when they had to pull the membrane up to replace that piece of metal, we'd just have them go ahead and put a whole new membrane on since the old one was several years old, of course. And this was done by Camping World in Springfield, Missouri. They did a really, really good job can see not an excessive use of lap sealant here. Um, it's sealed, but not overly sealed. The paint on the roof cap is good. And we have new lights, new cab lights, because we did have a leak there and uh, those have been replaced. When they replaced the roof, we had some new parts put on. So a new Weingard Air 360 TV unit. We had three new Max fans put in. So one at the very back, uh, that's the garage unit one here in the bathroom and one here in the living area. Those are all new Max fans with the vent covers. We had a new window or a skylight window put in over the shower. And again, you can see they did a really nice job on the sealant. This is a, it's a really nice roof. Of course, it's stable in terms of the, uh, the structure and the membrane is brand new. Back here in the back, you can see nice and sealed. So everything good. And we're just looking down on that deck area. Slide toppers again are in nice shape and uh, yeah, it's just all nice up here. It's good to see the roof on the RV, you know, that's something that a lot of people don't get to see when you buy a unit. So I wanted to show that. But yeah, one last thing to note, the tan color roof is not a factory color. They all, they all have a white roof and we went with tan because with the Outlaw, 
because the, the back ramps up, you know, it peaks up in the back, you can see the roof from the front of the rig. So you're coming down the road, looking ahead at this rig, you can see the roof and the white really stood out because there's no white on the side of this thing. It's all black, tan, and red. So now you have this nice tan roof that really looks a lot better with the rest of the paint scheme. And since we were on the top of the RV, I figured I'd go ahead and show the underside of the coach. Uh, a few things I wanted to note here. The front suspension has a lot of new parts. You'll see new spring shackles and bushings on uh, all corners. We have a new right front leaf spring, new front shocks, um, new tie rod or uh, sway bar links, I'm sorry, up front. No leaks from the transmission or the engine. The oil filter is actually leaking a little bit. I guess up there, I need to tighten that up a bit. But other than that, uh, no leaks, no engine faults or codes, nothing like that. You can see um, no rust down here. Oh, by the way, kill mat underneath the uh, wheel arches, again, to quiet things down. But I'll show you here what I did. Um, we did have some surface rust down at the bottom of uh, of these openings and you can see that I ground it down I killed the rust I took the rust off but then I pour 15 it pour 15 as a rust inhibitor and encapsulator I put that along the uh, put that along the sides on both sides of the rig it's been rust proofed all the way around rear end again no leaks uh, rear ends great we did have a new drive shaft put in a couple years ago so that's something to note but um yeah she's in good shape so let's go ahead and keep moving. So let's go ahead and move inside. I'm gonna show you something here. The door is open and normally the stairs would be out. The stairs are not out because the control unit is bad on the front stairs. The rear stairs have a bad motor. So neither of the stairs are working right now. We have just been putting a step stool there, but I can fix those for you before you pick up. Moving inside, what's nice is uh, underneath this step, you have some storage for shoes and such. As you can see, we need to get that stuff out of there. We're gonna go ahead and step inside. Now this front area has been redecorated, obviously. Um, we had a lot of brown up here when we bought this at first, but um, now we're all white and shiny, it's all good. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the generator so I can show you the lights and such. We have a remote switch up here on the dash, which is good. We're gonna prime it first. So you see the orange light, a little prime, and then go ahead and start it. Okay. Lots of storage over the front, which is great. So three storage doors there. This bunk, before I forget, this is a power bunk over these front seats and it does come down. You have the switch here, you should flip on and you can raise and lower it. I'm not gonna do that right now, but it works great. You have a flip forward desk in the front that the passenger can use to work. Tosh uses that going down the road. This table in the center, untwist, it comes right out. You can actually put that in the back on the deck. Have all the original books for the rig from Thor, from Ford. Everything's in here. And then this is all receipts from tires to batteries to just suspension stuff. Everything we've ever bought even little receipts from O'Reilly's or Lowe's, they're all in this envelope. Up front here, I have added a couple of power receptacles. Uh, these are USB and also a 12 volt outlet. They give you a voltage readout. Um, power outlets here that we've doubled up. I added more of those over here. We have an Easy Tire TPMS system there for you and then you have your normal 12 volt here. I was hooking my brake buddy up and setting the brake buddy right here on the top and uh, you know, using the, the others for my phone, the TPMS, that sort of thing. You have a backup camera. Also, there are cameras in the side mirrors. So when you turn the turn signal on to the left, the TV switches to the left-hand view, for instance. Works very nicely. AC on the dash blows cold, the heater is warm. Now, up front here, this is something unique. Now the slide, goes from that wall to here. So that's the slide. When it's in, it's level with this wall, okay? I may show you that here in a bit. But this table is something that we added. This is an IKEA 
very heavy duty IKEA sit stand desk base with IKEA stools and uh, a butcher block top that we put on. You can see I'm lowering it down here with a switch. It's also Bluetooth ready, which is cool. You can Bluetooth this to make it go down. Anyway, what we normally do is we'll drop it down like this, bump the stools up like that, and that keeps everything secure. This, this thing is stable, it doesn't go anywhere. This mattress here, you can throw up on the bed, and this is where our teenager, Carter, this is where he would sleep, right here on top of this. It's actually really comfy. This mattress is nice and comfortable, and it works out well. We have two storage totes underneath here, also from Ikea. Edith was putting her stuff in this tote. Carter's putting his stuff in this one. You can see they still need to get their junk out of there, but uh, they work great for storage. The table is strapped to the floor with four wing nuts, and you can undo those wing nuts. You can move the table out completely. You can turn it sideways, which is nice, and set people all around it, and it works really, really well. There's a lot of kitchen storage in this RV. Uh, it's a little bit deceptive actually how much storage there is, but up here we kept an Xbox, we have a DVD player. Those of course all hooked to this TV, which does swing out and telescope from the wall. It has a new mount on it that does that. It's very cool. A little mail and key situation here. Uh, stove and oven combo. storage here we need to empty out but this pops out as another little working space storage of course which is great a nice regular size sink um, again lots of storage no water damage under any of the sinks lots of storage big corner cabinet for pots and pans and all that sort of thing uh, works really well the refrigerator is not a residential unit which means it does run on propane if you're off of power that's really nice for boondocking and that sort of thing uh, the fridge works great, it's nice and clean, everything good. Now I got this bison picture to uh, replace our family photo here on the wall. We've got a little light that shines down on the photo. It looks really nice at nighttime. Moving into the hallway, you can see 2606 hours on the generator. Um, all of your tank indicators, I'll tell you the, the black tank indicators stuck as they always do. You could have that cleaned, it'll free up. Air conditioners and furnace. All run excellent. You got your slide controls, your water pump here, LP gas water heater, 110 water heater, the standard stuff. Now the bathroom in this RV is pretty unique. You'll see you have the shower in the hallway. On the other side of here, you have a very nice bathroom, which has been upgraded. Okay, so um, you'll see the, we come back into the browns, the original browns that were up front, now are carried into the bathroom and uh, we have a glass sink, glass tile, nice shiny tile countertop, and a brand new toilet. Well, that's about a year old now. We did leave some storage solutions in here, so we have a couple bags and totes. You'll see those throughout the RV. Any totes that we special ordered for these cabinets, we went ahead and left in here for you. Now, the way that you use the shower is you can close this pocket door, and now you have a full bathroom. <laughs> the downside to this is it separates the front and the back of the RV. So just something that's, uh, you know, maybe a challenge for some families. You get used to it, but it works pretty well. And it's, it's a great solution for space because now with that bathroom like this, you have a middle den area with a slide out, fold out couch here. We added this, it's buckled to the floor. It does have a seat belt. Um, you have a TV with a nice dresser some ambient lighting on the top. Lots of storage space for clothes in here. Of course, all these cabinets, your power center is down here at the bottom. And then an 11 foot garage with another couch that folds into a bed and also flips up against the wall. Here's your door. There's your wall unit for the air conditioner. You can see decals everywhere that this rig has been coast to coast. And then a lot of storage up here, which we use for like motorcycle uh, parts, you know, and gear. We added a collapsible desk. This desk folds against the wall. This is actually my office space back here. You can use this TV as a second monitor if you'd like. We have one of the stools back here, of course, and then a nice, whoops, sorry. <laughs> one drink made the trip over. Uh, this is a, a fridge that we would use for drinks and such. So it works really well. Now going up the stairs, of course, one of the most unique features of the Thor Outlaw is this loft over the bedroom, which actually has a ton of space. It's very, very comfortable. We have a perfect cloud mattress here. 
uh, television up here. You can really get up here and relax. There's some color LEDs that you can change for some ambient light in that shelf area. Works really well. An emergency exit here. And of course a crank out window on the far side of the bed. You've got a nice shelf with a fan here um, over, the, uh, over the curtain. We did use this area for storage above the dresser as well. So lots of options here. Again, good amount of storage with some containers back here. This is it guys, it works really, really well. Now back here in the back, I've fit three motorcycles and a couple pit bikes before. You can see there's your exit for the back door. Um, this is just a great space back here, usable in a lot of different ways. You do have a Bluetooth entertainment system here um, that you can, uh, you can broadcast back here to a couple speakers and also outdoors to those speakers. So you can really fold this thing out, make it a deck, get the canopies out, get the TV going, have the tunes cranking. This RV kind of becomes like a rock star RV when you are at the campsite, when you're at the racetrack, everybody wants to see inside of it. Everybody wants to hang out and uh, it's a lot of fun. One more thing up front here, guys, these are custom embroidered, um, custom tailored seat covers. If you know anything about RVs, you'll know that the junk you know, vinyl that they put in them falls apart very quickly. That happened to this one, and we replaced all the leather with uh, this custom leather here. And it's diamond, diamond stitched, of course, has our logo in it for Bison, which is our company, and uh, it's pretty neat. So anyway, there you have it, guys. There's the interior. It's very, very cool. Um, we do have some colored lighting here, as you can see, over the desk at the bottom of the cabinets and then above the cabinets, too. So lots of accent lighting around. I'm kind of big on ambiance, and so there you have it. That's why that's there. All right, everybody, so that's a tour of Rumble, our 2014 Thor Outlaw. I can assure you that the truck drives excellent going down the road. Um, it starts, it runs, it drives perfect. Um, nothing to note there. So I'm not going to test drive it, but if you'd like to test drive it, just give us a shout. Come on up to Wichita and uh, we'll take you for a drive and then you can take him home. If you have any questions, just send us an email, send us a message here and uh, or you can give me a call actually on the sticker there and I'm uh, happy to help you. Thanks for watching and um, we'll look forward to seeing you soon.